Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for a new military video. Today I would like to compare two of the most destructive machines in the world. The Ohio and the Borei are two nuclear ballistic missile submarines and today we will try to find out which one is uh, the best one. First of all, as we can notice, the Borei is a much newer machine. It's been produced from 1996 and the first one was launched in 2008. While the Ohio class is being produced from 1976 and the first one was launched in 1981. And of course it's uh, the same if we consider the latest commissioned. In fact, for the Borei, the latest one was commissioned in 2014, while the latest Ohio submarine was launched in 1997. So in this case, if you want to consider which one is newer and maybe more updated, the Borei should be the winner. But of course we have also to consider the production cost and the technology involved with. Production costs are very different. In fact for the Borei we have only 440 million dollars, while for the Ohio class we have 2.9 billion dollars. On one side I think the Borei is better because it's cheaper and you can actually produce more with a lower price. But of course on the other side you have to imagine that probably the technology used are not at the same level of the Ohio class. The difference is too high to be only a production cost difference. So I'm really not sure if in this case the cheap price, cheap, there are still a lot of millions, but the cheap price of the Borei is still a good thing. Another thing we can consider is how many of them are planned and active. For the Borei we have 14 of them planned, 3 of them are already active while other 4 are under production or already completed and just need to be commissioned. While for the Ohio we had 24 of them planned, only 18 were completed and are active in this moment, while 6 of them were cancelled. So in this case if we want to consider the numbers, the Ohio is the clear winner. We have many more of them, each one has the firepower to destroy an entire country. But let's check the specification of each submarines so we can try to know them better. If we want to consider the overall dimensions, they are almost the same, as we can clearly see both of them have a length of 170 meters, a beam of 13.5 meters and 13 meters, and a draft of 10.8 meters. They are almost the same, but the displacement is very different. In fact, the Borei has a displacement of 24,000 tons, while the Ohio 18,750 tons. Both of them are powered by a nuclear reactor, so the endurance is limited only by the amount of food carried. The submarine itself needs to be refueled only once or every 20 years, 30 years. So uh, they only need to come back for, you know, for the crew because after a too long time they can just become crazy and just because they need to eat some now. While the oxygen and the water are uh, produced on board of the submarines, uh, for the food, it's a little more problematic. Now, one of the biggest difference here is the propulsion. On the Borei we can find a pump jet, while on the Ohio a standard propeller. The main difference here is that pump jet is much, much, much more silent than a standard propeller. And this is quite important because this kind of submarine need to hide and be very silent. They are not made to attack other submarines, they are just made to transport and attack other countries if you need with nuclear weapons. So one of the most important characteristics is to not be found because if you can find out where the submarine is, it's a little useless. So in this case the proportion is better on the Borei and is the winner in this case. Another good point for the Borei is also the test depth. Uh, in fact, the Borei can reach a depth of 450 meters, while the Ohio only 240 meters. That is uh, almost the half of the depth. At the end, we can also check and consider the speed of the submarines. We have 30 knots against 25 knots when they are submerged, and 50 knots against the 12 knots when they are surfaced. So, also in this case, if you want to consider the overall specification, I think the Borei is a little better, probably also because it's quite newer. And thanks to the new proportion system and the test depth, speed, the overall machine seems a little better here. But now we have also to consider the most important part that probably will make the biggest difference. In fact, as we said, these kind of machines are made to transport nuclear missiles. 
it's they only purpose they need to hide and transport them. If we want to consider the machine itself, the beret seems a little better, but what they are transporting? So which one has the best armament? And this is where we can find the biggest difference. For the beret we have 6 533mm torpedo tubes, while for the Ohio only 4 of them. But this kind of torpedo tubes are almost only made for self-defense. Only for the Beret there is a little difference because they can fire also anti-ship missiles, but also in this case are almost used only for self-defense. This kind of machine, as I said, they are not made to uh, open battle, but just to hide. They never attack first. If possible, they will always hide. And now for the most important part, the nuclear missiles. The Beret has 16 RSM-56 Bulava while the Ohio can transport 24 Trident 2 D5. The Bulawa missiles have 6 or 10 thermonuclear MIRV. MIRV stands for Multiple Independently Targetable Reentry Vehicle. This means that the missile, once it is uh, in the high atmosphere, can just split itself in multiple warheads and engage different targets simultaneously. While for the Ohio, every Trident can have from 8 to 12 MIRV. Just from here we can notice a big difference, the Ohio has more missiles, 24 against 16, and each missile can have more thermonuclear MIRV, a maximum of 12 for the Ohio or a maximum of 10 for the Borei. And this already means that the Ohio can engage more targets than the Bulava and unfortunately for us also give much more destruction. But let's check also the other specification. The Bulava has a range of 9000 km, while the Trident 2 12000 km, also here the Trident seems to be better. If we consider the speed they can both reach a speed of a Mach 24, that it's a lot, is more than 29000 km per hour, they are really fast. And each warhead has a firepower of 150 kilotons for the Bulava or 475 kilotons for the Trident 2. And this means that the Beret has a maximum firepower of 24 megatons, while the Ohio has a maximum firepower of 136.8 megatons. So in this case we can clearly notice that the Ohio is the winner. It has a much more firepower than the Beret. And actually we almost need the 6 Beret to reach the same firepower of a single Ohio class submarine. And for me this is the most important difference here. So in conclusion, here we can see that we have more firepower, almost 6 times more than a single Beret, we have more missiles, 24 of them against 16, and more MIRV, so it can engage more targets with more firepower. And we also have a higher number of them, we have 18 of them already active. So if we want to consider their role and their firepower, the Ohio is the clear winner here. Moreover, also if you want to consider the missiles, the Bulava wasn't so good during the test while the Trident was launched a huge number of times without problems. To me, it's quite easy to choose the, the winner. But I really would like to know also your opinion about it. So which one for you is the best one and why? As I said, if you want to consider the machine itself, maybe the Beret is better. But their purpose is only to carry missiles. So the most important part here is what they can fire. And the Trident, I'm sorry, is a better missile. It's strange, because usually the Russian were always the best one in terms of rockets, but sometimes happen. To me this is why the Huayo is the winner. Leave a thumbs up if you liked the video and if you agree with me. Of course if you don't agree with me, it's not a problem, but let me know why. It would be interesting to have a conversation with you and, you know, maybe learn something new. Check the other video of this kind if you liked this one and if you want you can check also the comparison of all the submarines in the world. In fact I already made a top 10 of all the nuclear ballistic missile submarines that you can find in the right up corner or in the description of the video. Moreover, if you want to watch other comparisons like this one, you can let me know in the comments your favorite machines and which one you would like I compare. Until now, as you notice, I always made the comparison between Russia and the USA because they have um, maybe the most famous machines, but it would be nice also to make something uh, less known and maybe more interesting. So as always, see you next Saturday with a new video and enjoy the weekend. Bye!